Welcome to the City of Sheridan Update. I'm Mayor Dave Kinski, and I'm happy to bring a new twist on the City of Sheridan Update to you, the Student Edition, a series of news reports brought to you entirely by elementary students shot and produced on their iPads with the able direction and assistance of Leon Schatz of Wayward Films with help from his assistant, Leah Clark. I know you are going to enjoy City of Sheridan Update Student Edition as much as I do. And with that, please enjoy the Student Edition. Sheridan Cat and Dog Shelter. Um, Do you think that the location is good or bad for the animals? The location is good because it's away from the busy downtown area. We're getting more traffic with more buildings coming up. The landfill is always busy, but we don't let the cats outside, so they don't, they're not able to get in anybody's way or anything like that. Um, we want to need a bigger building but the funds aren't available at this time. We need a bigger building because we have so many animals. We also need more parking because we have many people coming up to look. The first week you start here, you are bound and determined you're going to take every animal home with you. Um, I have adopted probably three or four from here. Uh, a couple of them have died, but now I know that I can have one cat and one cat only. The new people again, they come in and they ooh and they ah and they want to take them home. They quickly learn that it's better to have all these cats and or dogs, if you're a dog person, and you can see them every day instead of taking care of one at a time. Um, do you keep the dump out of the shelter because it's right over there? Yes, and I don't think that's to any of our um, actions or doing anything. The dump is a very clean place. Um, they, there's never any garbage that's flying around. They keep it as clean as they can be. Um, what's one good thing is that people that come to the dump, they see that the animal shelter is here and they've never been here. So they stop by. Some of them end up adopting animals and some of them just come by to visit or give donations. We have people that volunteer. They take a volunteer class and they can come up and walk the animals. And so they do that because they can't have their own pet. Um, they come and groom the animals because they can't have their own pet. So we're very lucky in that way. Um, what trails do the volunteers when they're walking the pets? Well, as you can see behind me, there are some, um, what do I want to call them? kennels, big large kennels that we have had in the last two or three years they've been built and people come out and they usually play with the dog while to get it settled down because when the dog comes out of the cage it's very hyper because it's been in the cage and so they play with the dog in the kennel for a while and then we have a mile and a half, no, a half a mile trail that goes down, loops and comes back around. Okay. I'm here with Amy at the Cat and Dog Shelter. Do you ever feel like you wish you could take all the animals home? Absolutely. <laughs> what are the benefits of the location and all about this place? Well, I guess one of the be benefits is, is we're not down on Main Street, so it's not quite as busy up here. You know, it's quieter for the animals. Um, we have a great facility and wonderful people that work here so that's that's what I think is the best part of this place okay. do you enjoy your job and why do you enjoy it I do enjoy this job it has its hard days it's good days and it's bad days but it's very rewarding and when you place the perfect pet with the perfect family it makes your heart smile so how often do people come to the animal shelter Every day. <laughs> We're closed on Sundays, but the workers are here because the animals need to be cared for absolutely every day, whether it's Christmas or Easter or Memorial Day, whatever. Somebody's with the animals every single day. How many times have people come in here looking for an animal for a special occasion for someone they love? Um, many times, but we have a policy that we do not adopt animals as gifts. 
So what we ask is that you buy a gift certificate and let the person pick out their own animal because you, they may not necessarily pick out the animal the other person would like. So, How many people do you need to recruit to do this job? <laughs> um, lots. I, I don't know. Probably 10, 15 we have here. So and it's nice to see them blossom. A lot of them come in here and are really scared and in their shell. And it's nice to see them come out of their shell and become happy, healthy dogs and cats. So. Thank you for joining us at the Cat and Dog Shelter. This is Gabrielle signing off.